Where are all the stylish moms? This is a sham! What up, my peoples? It's your boy, Jordan Thornsburg. And today we're in Marfa, Texas. Now Marfa, Texas is this tiny little town in West Texas that's particularly well known for their contemporary art. More specifically, minimalist art by a guy named Donald Judd. And while I don't know a lot about minimalist art, what I do know a lot about is living minimalistically. When I went about downsizing from a two bedroom apartment to a Prius, one of the items that didn't make the cut that I really missed was an electric kettle. And this is due in no small part to my fondness for tea. Tea for me has been an incredibly effective and ridiculously affordable method to curb my anxiety related snacking. Instead of like digging through the cupboard and finding something to munch on, I would just flip on the kettle and make myself a cup of tea and not add any sugar or cream or anything and you know not feel any guilt from that. And in addition to that, when I was trying to save money in the winters, I was in like a 1400 square foot place by myself at one point and heating this old place would have cost a fortune. So instead I would just keep the heat really low and have multiple cups of hot tea in the evening, in addition to wearing long johns all the time. <laughs> so if it's something I love, why didn't I bring it with me? It's not like I couldn't allocate the space somewhere. And the answer is I tried, but electric kettles take a significant amount of energy. It's like a hair dryer; it'll blow your fuses. And I think on average I saw it takes like 1500 watts to power, and my inverters are well below that. So I scrapped the whole idea. That was until recently when I discovered that there are products on the market that are not necessarily as feature rich as the electric kettles for your home that you're going to find at your local Target, not this one obviously, <laughs> but they are like electric kettle adjacent products that are made specifically for your car and they plug right into your cigarette lighter outlet. Do we call them that still? Some of them will just warm your beverage or keep it warm, which avoid those but other ones will boil water for you in like 10 to 20 minutes, like the one in my hand right now. That's right, this is an electric kettle in the form factor of a coffee cup, which is obviously quite convenient. And I just pop it down onto the base, which is in one of my cup holders in the front, and I've got boiled water in 10 to 20 minutes. I use this all the time to make tea, coffee, cup noodles, mashed potatoes, oatmeal, grits, whatever, you get it. Before, if I wanted boiling water, I have to park somewhere, get out with my burner in my pot, and heat it up with a flame like a bloody Neanderthal. I'm not a Neanderthal, I'm smart. And now I don't even have to stop my car to make tea if I don't want to. This one specifically said that it gets water up to a boil in 10 minutes. Now, if you fill this up, that is not the case. That is like, maybe, maybe it gets like a cup of water up to boiling in 10 minutes. But the other reason I chose it is that it has a relatively large capacity compared to some others. It's 450 milliliters, and in a good old American, that would be 15 ounces. So generally like the size of a can of vegetables. So you'd be tempted, hey, you could like heat up vegetables in this, which yeah, you can. And I did that one time, but I thought it was kind of a mistake because it kind of like made burn marks on the bottom, which the green beans are good. It worked, but I don't want to... I don't want to keep making marks on here. While generally I'm raving about this product, as far as I'm concerned, there are three areas where it could use significant improvement. And you know, for the price I paid, uh, this is very forgivable. But first, the base, when it's plugged in and the cup is on there, it's heating up. Like there's no off switch anywhere in it. So every time I want to use it, I have to plug it in and unplug it. Not a huge deal. Second, there is no indication of the temperature or when it's reached boiling uh, temperature like all I need is like give me like a whistle or ideally just make an audible click and have that be the power turning off the only way I know when this is ready is I'll see steam coming out of the corner of my eye and that's you know not an ideal situation I don't want my house to burn down you know third the base is not <laughs> even though this thing is made to be used in a car maybe not while the car is moving but Obviously that's what people are gonna do, okay? <laughs> this cup wobbles all over the place in here. It would just be a little bit nicer if I felt more confident that a quick maneuver to avoid a jackrabbit dashing into the road isn't going to result in the sweet embrace of boiling water on my leg. 
you want to get one of these hot mamas for yourself, check the description for a link. I obviously think they're a good value. If you have any questions, suggestions, personal insults, throw some words in that comment box. And if you found this helpful, like this video and consider sharing it with some friends. That'd be really cool of you. And if you want to see some more of these, hit that subscribe. Until next time, peace. Man, you know, you go in to buy one feces and you get so many feces.